Hello and welcome back to my channel. So the first thing we're using is MAC Painterly Paint Pot just to prime the eyes and I'm just going to be setting that with the Coty S Bundle Loose Face Powder. Then using the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette I'm going to be using the first shade which is the Brighton shade just all over the lid just to add a bit of brightness. Then using number three, the smoke shade, just on the outer corners. Then going in with number two, the enhanced shade, just to add a little bit more brightness to the eye. And I'm just using my finger just to pat this on. I'm just using my MAC Extended Play Mascara. For foundation I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder in the shade Fair. This is a really lovely light coverage foundation which just adds a lovely dewy finish to the skin. For concealer I'm using the Maybelline Eraser Eye Concealer and I'm just adding this under my eyes and just to the places where I feel I need a little bit more coverage because as we say the Charlotte Tilbury foundation is quite a sheer coverage. I'm going to be using my Coty S Bun Loose Face Powder just to set under my eyes and my T-zone because that is where I get the oiliest. Going back into the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette, I'm just going to be using the bronzer just to warm up a bit. I'm using both blushes in the palette for Charlotte's infamous swish and pop technique. And then using the highlighter just for more of a dewy finish. For brows I'm using the Tanya Burr Cosmetics Selfie Sculpt. I'm keeping the lips simple by using the Kiko Smart Lip Pencil in the colour 700. Lastly I'm spritzing some Max Fix Plus just to blend all the powders together and keep it nice and fresh. So this is my fresh and glowing skin makeup look, I really hope that you enjoyed it, thank you so much for watching, I'll leave all my links down below as to where you can find me should you want to have your makeup done by me. Thanks again so much for watching.